So this is a question a lot of people have been asking, what is it that we need to do if we don't want to spread COVID-19 to lots of people? And if we want to make sure that the people who are older, or who maybe have different kinds of illnesses already, um, that they don't get sick. So how can, what can we do to make that not happen? So we have a couple answers for that one. Yeah. And the advice that's coming out everywhere is lots of personal hygiene things. What we mean by that is one of the biggest things that you can do is making sure you're washing your hands really regularly. And we want to emphasize how people wash their hands can make a big difference. Um, so in this case, we suggest washing your hands for um, with soap and water and long enough to sing the song Happy Birthday two times around. So singing the entire song of Happy Birthday while you're doing washing your hands, getting all in the nooks and crannies of your hands and just making sure you're getting all cleaned up that way um, is a big thing. Something else that we want to also encourage is making sure when you're coughing or sneezing to do that in a way that avoids spreading germs. So one of the best ways is again using your elbow to cover your mouth that way um, and stop those germs from spreading. What about what are other things that we should be doing? Well, I think, I mean, the, the really the most important thing is for sure that washing of our hands and doing it so carefully in our whole hands, right, for a long time. And we would want to do that every time we come into our house, every time we cough or sneeze, you know, every time before we're going to be eating, every time when we're going to the bathroom. So a lot of hand washing. You cannot hand wash too much, mm. right? And, and for sure, if you do have coughing or sneezing, like what you said, you know, making sure it's going into your sleeve and not sort of out there at other people. But what if somebody doesn't realize they're about to sneeze and like oh, all of a sudden they sneeze and they don't have a chance to cover their mouth? So that's why you see in the picture here of the two people standing near each other, and one person kind of sneezes or coughs on the other person. That's why we're trying to keep our distance between each other. Yeah. So in case somebody is like talking and a little bit of spit comes out of their mouth or they cough or something, we don't have to worry that we're close enough to them that those germs from COVID-19 will get onto us and that we'll have them. So you see the drawing of the woman with her arms standing out? That's kind of showing how wide we want people to be standing apart from us. So we really want to keep our distance from other people so that if somebody's sick and they don't know they're sick yet, you know, we don't have to worry so much that that sick is going to come to us. Or if we're a little bit sick but we don't know it yet, we're protecting other people by not being as close to them. Right. It's playing this whole really better safe than sorry um, idea of like, okay, keeping those precautions and making sure we're taken care before something happens. Things to avoid, I guess, like that's some of the talk that has been happening right now. Like what should we not be doing while um, all this is going on? So, Yeah, and these are some really nice drawings that we got from Talking Maps in the UK, but it's just a bunch of reminders of lots of things we, set, we like to do that we usually do that now everybody's telling us we shouldn't do. So one thing is some people like to go, I know I like to go to synagogue sometimes on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Somebody might like to go to their mosque or to their church, but those are places where everybody sits close together and prays. And if you're sitting or you're next to a lot of people, then that's one way you can spread this virus. So all those kinds of services and things are being canceled. Uh, and even that like favorite idea of going to a restaurant or a cafe and just visiting with a friend and having a chit chat, you'll notice even if you see a restaurant that you like to go to, you know, now it will be maybe just takeout only because they don't want people to be sitting around and, and, and sharing food and being close to each other in a restaurant because that's another way it can spread. Sure. And again, sometimes even to get to all these places, we need to use the bus or the trains and things like that. Another place where people are all gathered together. So something else to avoid there. And yeah, lots of concerts or sports things. Again, we understand that these are things that people like to do, but they're very right now bringing people close together, and that's something that we want to avoid. Um, so that's what a bunch of things that we're recommending not to be doing. Right now. Um, and sometimes that even means not visiting people who don't live with us. Um, so these are our friends and stuff like that, like some people like visiting them on the weekends and things like that. Um, so that's something that we want to avoid right now, because again, just trying to stop the spread of germs. Yeah, and it is really upsetting. Like if you have a birthday party or something and nobody mm -hmm. can come, that is going to be really sad. Or if you can't see your favorite sure. relative because you can't go visit. But for now, we're trying to connect with people without seeing them, uh, maybe just talking to them.